Thanks to Riverside for sponsoring this video. One of the biggest opportunities right now for any individual to grow their business or personal brand is with long form video podcasting. This is by far one of the best ways to connect with your audience on a more personal level. Maybe you're a solo creator or you don't have a ton of experience with audio or video technology, or maybe you just want the simplest way to achieve the highest level of quality in your podcast recordings. No matter the case, Riverside has you covered. I'm gonna show you how easy this platform is to use to create your first high quality podcast episode and a ton of new features Riverside gives users, including editing capabilities, AI tools, automatic captioning, shorts creation, and much more. Let's dive right into it. First things first, let's show you how easy it really is to record inside of Riverside. When you open up your studio interface, the first thing you'll see is a bunch of recordings that are uh, your past recordings. But what we'll do is we're gonna dive into our studio right away. Here's the first screen that you'll see. I'm Craig Pruitt, so I'm gonna leave my host name. I'm not using headphones for this recording. Now we need to check um, our audio and video settings. I'm using my Sony FX3 with a HDMI capture card, so I'm I'm gonna check that as my USB video. So that's how I'm getting this high quality 1080p 60 FPS uh, recording here and stream. And I could use this for streaming as well. And then um, also I have a boom mic overhead that I'm using for the audio for this video. So uh, I'm gonna check the USB audio source as well. But you could change that. You could change that to your MacBook Pro microphone or your FaceTime webcam or whatever camera you wanna use. You can input that into Riverside. And then for speakers, I'm just gonna use my MacBook Pro speakers because I'm not using headphones for this video. So we're gonna join the studio and you can see that right away we are into the software. So now we see myself and my camera feed to the left of the screen and then to the right of me is a space where I can invite people uh, into my studio. So I can copy this link, which is now copied, and I can send that link to anyone and they can join the studio through the Riverside app or if they're on their laptop or computer, they can join from the web interface as well. Some basic settings you're going to want to make sure you have set are the very first thing, this settings button and this settings button do the same thing. So just click one of them and we're gonna double check our settings, making sure that our audio and video inputs are correct. You can change your output volume and this doesn't actually affect the volume that gets recorded. It just affects the volume of your participants and the way that they hear your voice. So if you're coming in a little bit too loud and they think you're a little bit loud in their ears, you can actually reduce the volume that they're hearing. In the recording section, this is where I'd actually recommend a couple things. Just double check that your audio sample rate is what you'd prefer. So 44.1 is fine for me. You can choose 48 kilohertz, but then I would recommend changing to the advanced setting and allowing your computer to record up to 4K HD and 1080p. You can select destinations that you wanna live stream to and some advanced settings here, but really that's the only thing we're gonna adjust. Overall, it's a really basic interface. You can make sure your microphone and your camera are set, your speaker selection. You can add a script or a teleprompter, which is really cool. You can share your screen. You can do a presentation with, I think the highest um, subscription tier allows you to do a presentation, or you can share a screen. And like, if, if you have a slide deck you wanna share, you can have that on an extra monitor. Or if you wanna play videos in your podcast episode, you could share your screen. It could be like a YouTube video or something like that. There's also a media pool feature where you can upload some of your own media. So you can upload like video clips or audio files to integrate into your live stream. Or you can even play like, here's a laughing track that they have built in. <laughs> Wow, that's that's intense. So it really is that easy to set up a recording. Our audio levels look great, our visuals look awesome. We can integrate media if we need, but really we're just ready to hit record or invite a guest to join us in the studio. Next, I wanna show you some of the cool editing features that Riverside has implemented. So if we click this edit button on one of our past recordings, we can go to create a new edit or go to some saved edits. In this instance, we're going to create a new edit. There's several ways that you can leverage this editing timeline, but I'm gonna show you just a couple ways that I personally would end up using it. First is obviously for cutting and removing sections. So let's say I skim to a part of a video like right here and I wanna cut this section out. We're just gonna hit split clip and then we can cut out this whole section right here. Hit delete and there you go. So this is great for if you are uh, you did a podcast and there was a certain question that somebody wanted to have removed, you can cut out that section. Or if you messed up a certain section, you can come here and you can make infinite cuts, right? Like diff come to different parts of the timeline, cut, cut, cut just like this, and we can delete multiple sections. So if we wanted to get rid of that, we can get rid of that. And now we're just cutting just like you would in any sort of editing software. I personally edit in Adobe Premiere, and this eliminates the need for me to have to take this audio recording or a podcast recording into Premiere to do the editing. I can do the editing right inside of Riverside. Another thing we can do is some text-based editing. So let's say we want to delete, like I don't want to say the T8 fluid head is a 75 millimeter ball head. Let's say this whole sentence is like, ah, oh, that's incorrect. 
I don't wanna have it there. You can actually correct the captioning, which is auto captioning here, which is does a really good job. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if I wanted to delete this whole section, I can just hit delete and it's going to gray that section in my timeline out. So now we scroll over here and we can see that this section is grayed out. And if I hit play for many, many years, and it's a really high quality feel. Th this is a very, it just skips that entire section. And I can dial in the timing of that as well to make sure there's no errors. I can also check this box right here, which is show deleted text. And if I uncheck that, it will actually hide any of the text that we decided to delete. So now right here on my timeline, it's grayed out. If I uncheck this box, now that goes away. And now it's just a seamless edit. If we play it, for many, many years and it's a really high quality field. This is a very common bold. There you go. Another great thing you can do is upload media to your timeline. So let's say I wanted to include my podcast intro or my YouTube channel intro into this video. I can go and find my uh, video. It's a tiny little file upload that piece of content. So it adds it directly to the end of the timeline, but I can drag this intro wherever I want it to be. So if I wanted it to be at the very beginning of my podcast episode, I would just grab it with this handle, drag it to the very beginning. So now if we hit play, This is the best tripod system. You can see that we've added that media directly to uh, the beginning of our timeline and we can place that wherever we want. Another great thing about the editing timeline is that it's non-destructive to the master file. The master file will always remain untouched and you can always go back and make adjustments to the original version. And it basically creates a duplicate edit inside of your studio. So right here, the thing we were just working on, we cut it down to six minutes and 14 seconds, but the original seven minute and 12 second video is untouched. We can now enter back into the studio, go into the editing, interface and we can see that we are working with the untouched raw clip that's seven minutes and 12 seconds. If we make more adjustments, this will create a new version, a new variation of the master file. Let's shift gears and talk a little bit about the cool AI features that Riverside has access to for its users. The first being automatic captioning. This is one of the best automatic captioning features I have seen, which gives you just an entire transcript of your recorded studio session. So whether you are recording a live podcast episode or if you're uploading another piece of content that you've already edited together, but you want a really high quality transcript of the entire video that has great punctuation and capitalization. This honestly is one of the best auto captioning features I have ever seen. And you get the luxury of also the text-based editing with it. So not only is it a, a big, wonderful transcript, but we can go in and edit parts of the transcript and delete those or modify those for the video. If we wanted to add captions to our export, we can simply turn on the captions feature right here. We can turn on a highlight color to highlight text that's being spoken. We can turn on like a background image as well. That's wonderful. It's great automatic captioning. And this is great for social media, especially. Another cool AI feature is Magic Clips, which is basically gonna create short form vertical pieces of content for social media instantly with their AI software. So we can see here in this video, it generated a ton of different variations of these clips. Here's a 32 second clip. It's kind of a short and snappy social media style. And it added some captions right away. But let's say we wanna make some adjustments to this. So we can go in and change our captioning. I think I'd prefer a caption option like this. Maybe we can have the size be small. I like small text. Change the highlight color to maybe yellow. Actually, I like the orange that they chose, or we could choose a custom color, which is also cool. So we'll go to the layout tab here. And instead of the video ratio being fit, we're gonna set that to fill. So it fills the screen for social media. I think that's really important. We could also add some creative look, like if we wanted to add spacing and some routed quarters. Now we have a padding around the background, but since it's black, I don't have anything in the background. You can't see it. So we could add a background to this. Let's add a nice little background here. And look at that. This was all done within Riverside. So you can upload content directly to Riverside and repurpose that content for shorts. Or if you're filming live podcast episodes, know that you have the ability to turn those live episodes directly into shorts after the fact using AI tools like Magic Eclipse. Another cool thing we can do right away is just change the aspect ratio. So maybe you'd want a one by one aspect ratio for LinkedIn or a 16 by nine for Spotify, for YouTube. These are really cool instant adjustments that just you wouldn't be able to do very quickly in editing software like Premiere, but right here, it's doing it instantly. Now we got a square, are you kidding me? Look at how cool that is. That's awesome for being able to, to 
optimize for specific platforms rather than just uploading the same piece of content. You could do a square version for LinkedIn, a vertical version for all the social platforms and a horizontal for wherever you want it. If you want it on your website or YouTube, etc. There's so many ways to leverage this magic clips tool to upload to different locations. So here's an example using two people. If we wanted to change the orientation of who is where on the screen, if we had multiple guests, we can actually change the position of people just like this. It's so simple. And now Craig is on the left and Craig's phone is on the right. If we wanna change the aspect ratio, instead of 16 by nine, we could choose vertical nine by 16 or one by one for LinkedIn or X, Instagram, etc. It's just a very cool tool to be able to take your studio sessions and convert them very quickly for different social platforms. If you're interested in giving Riverside a try, there's a link down in the description of this video where you can sign up for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, you can use code Craig at checkout to get 15% off your subscription. Thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out another video right here on this channel. Thanks so much, much love. Thank you.